everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Life Skills with, with Lindsay. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to make a grilled cheese sandwich on the stove. So the first thing to do before eating or preparing food or cooking, of course, is to wash your hands. And I've made another video about hand washing, proper hand washing at home, so you can always review that, but I'm going to again demonstrate how to properly wash your hands. So first of all, you want to turn the water on to a warm or, or cold setting. Wet your hands. Add some soap. Rub your hands together. You want to get in the middle of your fingers, you know, in the web space right in here, on top of your hands, under your nails. You know, you really want to make sure your hands are clean and you do this for about 20 seconds. That's equivalent the same as singing the happy birthday song twice or even singing the chorus to Africa by Toto. Okay, so it's in about 20 seconds and you rinse your hands. Turn the water off and dry your hands with a clean towel. So before getting into making the grilled cheese sandwich, I want to quickly review on how to um, read the burner to know which knob turns on which burner. This is very important because I've seen folks, you know, turn a knob and hold their hand over the burner to see if that's the one that turned on and that can be really dangerous. So um, you can, to know which burner controls or which knob controls the burner, you can look at this little grid here. And the one that's uh, filled in is the one that is controlled by the knob above it. And all stoves are a little bit different. Um, mine's like a glass top, some have coils, um, but you can always just look at the picture and read here which knob controls which burner. So this here, the it says right rear. This is the right side of the stove, and this is the rear section. So this one is the right rear. The circle is filled in here, so that goes with this burner. This knob is right front. So the little uh, burner is filled in here. So this is the right front. This knob goes with this burner, the left front. So left, this is the left side, and this is the front. In the little picture, you can see. And then this one is the left rear. So we're going to uh, get into making the grilled cheese sandwich. So first of all, you want to butter one side of each slice of bread. So get that going. Butter, you can also use, you know, margarine or some kind of spread, whatever, whatever you prefer. And sometimes, yes, the bread breaks, it's annoying, but just do the best that you can to butter your bread. All right. So I'm going to move over to the stove, by the stove. I'm going to uh, heat the burner, heat the burner up a little bit, and I'm gonna put it on medium heat. So again, this is the right rear where my pan is. And um, all burners are a little bit different. So, um, you know, sometimes like ours heats up fast, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. And you can also tell if the burner's on because there's a little light that comes on that says element on. So these burners are also known as an element. So now that the pan is a little bit heated up, I'm going to put the bread, uh, butter or margarine side down on the pan. I'm going to take my cheese. You can use whatever cheese you prefer, uh, American cheese, cheddar cheese. I'm using Gouda. You Gouda be kidding me, right? <laughs> when you're taking um, cheese out, you also, you want to make sure that you take the paper off because that would not be good if you put that on there and, you know, you'd bite, be biting into a piece of paper. Okay. Put one slice on, two slices on, up to you. And now I'm going to add a piece of ham. 
little bit fancier. And you might be wondering, um, you know, why I'm not like washing my hands right now, even though I touched ham, but this uh, is like already cooked. And I'll wash my hands again after um, I get done making this and before I eat. So now I'm going to add the other piece of bread on top. And you're going to let this cook for um, however long you prefer. You can take a spatula. I usually like using a plastic spatula with these pans because a metal spatula might scrape your pan and make it, you know, not so great. Now this is kind of the hard part is flipping it. So you can also check to see if, if it's done. Um, you know what? I think this might need, need a little bit more time just because it's... Uh, it doesn't seem like it's melted yet. Also, it could be, you know, it's good practice to also um, use an oven mitt some, when you're cooking. So, um, you know, I have a pan where the handle heats up. Um, I don't really like to use that pan. This one doesn't, but you, you want to be careful. When you're making grilled cheese, um, you also want to make sure that you are um, staying in the kitchen for as long as it's cooking. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of a tough time flipping this, but uh, there we go. Okay, I'm going to flip it over. Awesome. You just let it cook for as long as you want until the cheese melted. Some people might like this bread a little bit crispy or a little bit more done. It's kind of up to your preference. So again, like I added a slice of ham onto this grilled cheese. Some people like to add tomato to their grilled cheese. Um, and I would also recommend like having a vegetable on the side, you know, maybe some broccoli or a salad just to add a little bit more variety and make it a little bit healthier. You could also substitute white bread for wheat bread. You know, that's totally up to you. So it's continuing to cook. Certain cheeses like melt quicker than others. This is this Gouda is not melting as quick. That's okay. All right. So I'm just going to take this off the burner. Um, it's really important to make sure that you're turning it off. You want to turn your knob off now. The little light went off because it is off. Okay, I'm going to transfer this. Boy, this pan is giving me a hard time today. There we go. Now onto the plate. Well, you can check to make sure. Oh, yep. Yeah, underneath is done. All right. And there you have it. A grilled cheese sandwich. Great. Right? Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day.